easy, simple, delicious bracket recipe. Hello guys, my name is Stephanie from Lifestyle Stephanie and if you're new to this channel, hi, I do lifestyle and nutrition content as I study for a master's in clinical, clinical nutrition and today I'm going to show you what I almost eat every day for breakfast. I'm going to put it all in chronometer and tell you the nutritional contents of it, how it fills you up, how it makes you happy and how it makes you healthy and if you want to lose weight, how it can help you lose weight and have a good performance if you exercise. It's, it's, it's an amazing breakfast. I have it almost every day because it's delicious. I even have it in the winter, although it makes me freeze inside. Um, you'll see in a second why. Anyhow, um, I hope you're interested in this video and let's just stop the talking and get right into it. As for ingredients, um, we have three bananas, uh, frozen raspberries, frozen mango and frozen blueberries. You can see why I freeze in the morning. <laughs> Especially when you live in Scotland and heating is expensive, you guys, you just, it's still so good, you know? Um, anyhow, so that's the main ingredients. Then we have some flax seeds that I'm going to put in, as well as coconut milk and some apple juice. Um, don't ask, it's just, it's just good. Usually I also put something green in, like kale or spinach, but um, I ran out of kale and spinach, so... <laughs> And it's just gonna be a very fruity smoothie, which is delicious. Let's go. Some water. By the way, for the coconut milk, this is low-fat coconut milk. It's different than the one you get out of a can, because it's not really... It's, it's just not that fatty. It has 1% um, fat, whereas if you have like coconut milk, I think it has up to like 20%. So there's a huge difference. And especially for the morning, I would recommend starting low fat. You, you, just, you just need carbs basically to get the energy to your body. Whereas if you eat a fatty meal, uh, you feel kind of sluggish. And in the morning, we don't want to feel sluggish, do we? So highly recommend low fat uh, ingredients like this beautiful milk. Well, <laughs> and now for the presentation. Alright, so I'm gonna enjoy this now and then I'll be back on my laptop showing you all the ins and outs when it comes to the nutritional contents of this beautiful smoothie bowl soup. Alright, so I just finished my smoothie bowl and I'm having some tea now because um, it's cold. <laughs> Anyhow, so let's look into um, the stats that of my food. I put it in chronometer as you can see. Um, I do have to say it's not very accurate um, in the sense of um, first of all I didn't measure my food I just it's an estimate of what I think I consumed but since we're not really looking at the caloric intake and more of the vitamins and nutrients I think it should be fairly accurate um, although and this is a big although because Different fruits have different vitamins and nutrient contents depending on the soil, depending on whether they're like taken when they're ripe and all that kind of thing. So we can't 100% say that this is exactly the vitamins and nutrients I consumed in this meal simply because we can't really tell. But it should be an estimate and it just should give us a feeling of uh, what we consume and that's what these um, uh, sites are for. So let's just have a look. I edit everything here <laughs> um so let's see um apparently i consumed uh, 760 calories possibly true um yeah um i don't know because like i said the measurements and all that that's okay um let's look here as we can see um for the, for the vitamins it's just the first meal of the day and we're already having all the essential vitamins um, the chronometer suggests here, for example, um, present, um, obviously in different quantities, but this is looking good so far. Um, same with minerals. 
What is really important here is <laughs> sodium um, should actually be very, very low. There shouldn't be like a daily recommendation of sodium simply because um, too much sodium is associated with many, many lifestyle diseases. So we should try to keep our sodium intake as low as possible. Um, just a note on the side. I'm not saying we don't need sodium, um, especially if you exercise and if you sweat a lot, you need to like refill. Um, your electrolytes and that kind of thing but um, that is a whole different topic and in a general normal citizen we should not uh, concern ourselves with with that particular um, issue so moving on <laughs> proteins the very important topic of proteins we can see that although I didn't put any like protein pul pulver or um, I don't know anything like with substance like soy milk or anything in um, I still hit um, all the amino acids when it comes to protein and it's already at 14.4 uh, grams um, I personally I don't really track but for more for my weight and my activity level I'll always try to go around like between 50 and 60 grams of protein a day which is as you can see I, I mostly consume fruit in in the morning and I'm already at um, like almost 15 grams so it's no issue at all um, fat I'm trying to keep it as low as possible I try to not have any saturated fat so since I'm not consuming any animal products that's fairly easy I'm also not a big fan of oils and that kind of thing so I don't really have issues with saturated fat so that is good cholesterol same thing no animal products no cholesterol is not something that you need um, your body makes your own cholesterol that's basically what I'm saying here and we try to have a good ratio between omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids and I as we can see nicely already um, with the flax seeds I'm hitting my IDA here so all good and carbs my, my favorite topic um, already hitting 170 grams of carbs which is amazing because I'm an active person I need carbs to function my brain needs carbs to function I'm studying I'm working um, yeah it's just glucose is the main fuel for your body so you need carbohydrates is very important I'll make a video about carbohydrates um, on a different in a different video um, just to share my thoughts and um, what I learned about carbs in general. Um, fiber, uh, awesome. The more fiber, if you have a healthy gut and if you don't have any issues, the more fiber you can eat um, in the form of a variety of different plant foods, the better your gut, your gut flora it will love you. Um, I actually did a short the other day about fiber so uh, maybe I can link it here if you want to if you want to see it. I'll also make a long form video of fiber very soon so stay tuned for that because fiber is especially if you want to uh, control your weight management the best thing you can eat is a high fiber diet um, anyhow that is that is that for the day um, if you're interested in any specific vitamin or mineral let me know and I can maybe make a video about it little disclaimer in the end I'm not suggesting that this is the non plus ultra healthiest breakfast you can have and if you don't have this you won't be healthy not at all it's just one thing that works very well for me it is it's fueled me and my uh, my exercise and my health and i just feel really good um after eating it there's a lot of like especially like bananas are a source of like serotonin so i think that is what makes me really happy <laughs> so you can you can you can just test it and eat more bananas in a day and you see if that increases your mood um yeah like i said it's it's fueling it's it's full of vitamins we all hit all the basic um minerals nutrients all the protein is there even though there's no protein powder in it so um if you still look for the perfect breakfast, I recommend giving this a go because it's seriously delicious and on the cheap end, actually, because all these ingredients are not that expensive, luckily, because um, I mean, I'm working, but I'm also uh, still a student. So anyhow, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe and um, yeah, I hope I see you in my next video. I hope you have a nice day whenever you see this and wherever you are. Stay healthy, everyone. Bye. Hours driving on the highway. Far away, far away, far away. Every moment I was spending on regrets was such a waste, such a
Such a waste, such a waste Looking on the sea